now i will show you how to add in this client side if you want to follow up uh, you are in a uh, uh, sorry uh, actually i will be confused actually this is a follow up videos of how to add this drop down control on list items in client side and server side and i am just deleting all this uh, list items in deleted sorry deleted uh, in that uh, client side if you want to follow up the videos you just go through the port one video yeah now i am going to show you how to add a uh, list items into the drop down in client side let's sorry in server side let me see here i deleted all the list it's empty okay uh, that uh, id of the drop down is the next one here i am going to pause the item so that attribute here is items it's named as items okay then we need to add some text that means the list of items into the drop down list items so dot add open bracket you need to pause the list item here so this is a it's contain of list items it's contain with the namespace here and one more option you can see right there is a two type of way we, you can pause this so here i am going to use the list items to pause that list values into the drop down so i am creating one object for list items called list item one If you have any doubt how to create an object or instance, you just go through the session of videos. Here in list items, it will ask there is a four type of things is there. Here I am going to pause two fields like text and value. You can see this, right? Uh, text, I am just pausing the one. Same thing in the client side, what I given the value, I am just giving it here also. If you want any doubt, you just go through this previous video, you can easily understand. Okay, I'm just copy and pasting is it is a time saving thing. You can easily understand what the thing is going on here. If you have any doubt, you just come at it in our videos series. I will give you the feedback and I'll give the solution to you. Yeah, now uh, here I am going to pause that items. Initially I'm going to pause the item one and close bracket and semicolon. You can you need to use the semicolon and then i am pausing the several items to pause we can't be able to pause that bunch items here that also we can it is possible uh, that I, it is a complicated one that i will show you later so likewise you are pausing these two items here okay let me see in server side this is a server side we are in page load that means that page while page is running that time i am pausing this list items into the drop down okay for one good thing i am just creating one simple method called bind data okay i am just to copy and paste these values into this method and i am calling this method into the page load that is good right you can easily understand this is same thing i am just doing with a method okay some error because I am not using any written type, so I am using void. Void is used for it's a null written type, so I am using this. If you want any doubt in C sharp related with C sharp, you just go to the C sharp videos. Yes, and one more thing, I am going to use uh, here if is post back. You, you, everybody is know what is a page load. Page is loading, and one more thing, uh, you need to load a uh, need to. Sorry, learn is is post bug. Is post bug is nothing but if you are clicking on button, there is some event happening. That event, that uh, event is called is post bug. That is inside that functionality whatever happening is comes under the is post bug. Here I am giving not is post bug by the data. That means uh, only page load. I am going to call this method. Okay, if it is a page bug, don't need to call this method. If the 
page uh, this is a post that no need to call if the page load you call this so i am giving like this for each post back i will tell you because in each post back we need to add some button or something uh, even controller then only you can understand the page post back functionality so i am adding one button So I have used this HTML input method. Here we are using ASP control. So I am using the ASP load not related with the control. With control, I am just dragging this control. Actually, yeah, button is there. I am just drag and drop this easy way. In the uh, in Visual Studio, they are providing these controls and everything. If you want, you can add or you manually also, like by your coding. to this post back I'm just giving the text like this to easily understand for you I'm just relo reloading this application okay in this post back is nothing uh, I what over the I told you the thing okay now I am clicking this function is called is post back okay now there is no event is happening it's not loading anything now I am removing this is post back now i will show you what is the difference between previously and now okay in the is post back if it's a page load it will be load this list item to drop down that is a concept now there is no issue even the post back also or e even in that page load it will bind the data into that okay now it's binding right there is a two more value now i am clicking and, and one more time it's adding now you can easily understand right and one more thing what is the thing is it's adding by like this this is due to view state page view state if you want to learn page view what is the view state you just go through the previous videos you can easily understand what is the view state view state is nothing but it's storing the page values whatever we are adding in text box or something it will store some uh, when all the pages calls okay it's a simple thing uh, because we are adding the list item right list item is always stored in view state then it's binding this thing so it's storing this value if you want if you don't want to uh, store the like this we can uh, disable this view state option also through browser there is advanced thing and i will show you the deeply this is the basic things you need to learn then you follow up the videos you can understand everything little bit less if you are beginner it's just a little bit tough for experts this is not a much thing thanks for watching guys in in post back it's okay okay likewise you are adding in client side as well as server side if you have any doubt please comment out i will explain you because i am also the basic i am not a expert communication level to communicate you whatever i am telling if you want any doubt or a clarification feel free to ask me i will help you Thank you guys for watching this video tutorial please subscribe for getting more videos thanks guys